Keegan, my boy, I've finally found you. You must be a young man by now. Gosh, I'm sure I won't even be able to recognize you. I'm sorry, do I know you? Well, you should, but it's okay you don't. After all, we haven't seen each other for how long? 20-ish years, maybe? I've missed you so much. You don't know how excited I am to finally hear from you. Seriously, who are you? If you don't tell me, I'm going to block your number. No, 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 don't do that. I'm no acquaintance. D don't you recognize me? No. Oh, I see. That means your mother never mentioned me to you before. That cruel witch. Hey, don't you dare talk about my mother like that. I don't know who you are, but you said we've met before? Who are you? I'm your father, son. Sorry, wrong number. This is Keegan Saul's number, isn't it? I know it is. Yeah, but my father died last month, so you can't be my father unless you crawled back from your grave or something. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about Saul's death. Don't know how I feel about the news yet, but you and I both know that he's not your actual father. Excuse me? Saul was your stepfather. You do know that, right? Of course I do, but stepfather or not, I consider him my real father. He's the only father figure I had, anyways. If you're my so-called actual father, then where have you been all these years, huh? You probably think I abandoned you. And truthfully, I can't blame you. You were just a child at the time. And who knows what your mother told you, but I swear to you, I never wanted to lose you. I've been trying to find you ever since. You shouldn't have left then. But I never left. Wait a minute. What exactly did your mom tell you? Does that matter? Look, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I'm busy at the moment. All I know is you're not my father. Even if you are, I don't consider you one anymore. Wait, just hear me out, please. Didn't you ever at least ask your mother where your actual father is? Didn't you ever ask Saul? Or yourself? Hello? Keegan? Son? Are you there? Hey mom, did you go somewhere? What is it dear? I'm at the hairdresser. Right now? What? I can't have pretty hair? No, it's just you seem devastated when dad died. But these days it's like you've forgotten all about it. You're almost never home anymore. Well, if you must know, then yes. I'm still heartbroken at Saul's death. Your stepdad was the most amazing man to exist. But I can't cry over that forever. And neither should you. Saul used to take me to this very salon on every one of my birthdays. Being here right now makes me feel closer to him, somehow. I see. Well, I hope you have a pleasant time there then. And what about you, dear? Are you alright? It's not like you to text me out of nowhere. I just wanted to ask you something, but if you're busy, we can talk later. Maybe when you come back home? Don't be ridiculous, dear. Whatever it is, you tell me anytime. Even now. Um, okay. It's about Dad. What was he like, Mom? He was the kindest, gentlest, and the sweetest guy I've ever met. He was always so supportive of my decisions and would treat me like a princess. Have I ever told you about how we first met in college? I knew then and there that he'd be my special person. Someone I could trust. Someone I could share everything with. The good and the bad. You're talking about Saul, right? I meant to ask you about my real dad. You know, my birth father. Oh, what about him? What was he like? Oh, who cares about that waste of flesh? And where did he even come from? We've never spoke about him in forever. Well, I think I met him. Or at least talked to him today. What? Are you telling me that he's at the house? Hang on, I'm coming over right now. And whatever he says, don't believe it, okay? He's just a pathological liar. Whoa, relax, mom. He's not here in person. What I meant to say is that I had a chat with someone on my phone. He said he was my dad. Well, then just block his number. That should have been an easy solution. You did block him, didn't you? Mom, how come you never talked about him? I mean, I don't remember much about my father. Actually, I don't remember anything at all. If it wasn't for the picture of Saul holding me at your wedding, I would have believed that Saul is my father all along. Well, how come you never asked about him before? But I did ask you. When I was a kid, you said you'd tell me about him when I got old enough. I had the feeling that you would tell me when I became 18, but you didn't. And I didn't want to constantly ask you if you weren't ready to tell me. But I'm 26 now, Mom. I'll be getting married in a few months. Don't you think I deserve to know by now? Hmm. I guess you are old enough. Still, in my eyes, you'll always be a kid. Fine, I'll tell you. But it's gonna hurt you, so be prepared for that. On your fourth birthday, your father and I decided to take you to Disneyland. He was the one who proposed the idea. And initially, I thought it was brilliant. Everything was going perfectly for a while. But then... Your father left, saying he needed to use the restrooms, but he never came back. I kept waiting for him, but he never showed up. Eventually, it got dark and the park was about to close. I called him so many times, but he never picked up. So, I took you home without him, 
and then I found him inside with another woman and a child in our house. So you're saying dad cheated on you? What else? I tried to confront your father. He told me that he had left us there on purpose because he had nothing to do with us anymore. That he wanted to be with the other woman he was cheating on me with. And just like that, he threw all our things out the house to make room for his new family. Oh my god. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? How could he do this to us? We're his family. How come he didn't think of us? No, Keegan. We were his family. But not anymore. He made his choice. And it's about time we make ours. Wouldn't you agree? A hundred percent. What are we going to do? File a case against him? Take this matter to court? Oh no, that'll be of no use. Noah has plenty of big lawyer friends. He'll win this case for sure. Plus, we don't have any solid evidence to prove him guilty of his actions. So there's no use to take such measures. Then what are we going to do? Just let him be? There's nothing else we can do but to stay as far away from him as possible. Mom, he cheated on you. He lied to you. He lied to me. What can I say? He's a pathological liar. And you must do everything you can to stay away from him. If he tries to contact you, block him immediately. Otherwise, you might make the same mistake I did and believe his lies. You're probably right, but I don't get one thing. How come you never knew about Dad's double life before that? I mean, having a kid with another woman? How did that go unnoticed by you? I guess that was my mistake. I was too foolish to see through him. I believed him every time he told me he had to work overtime or, or go on business trips. I was so naive and stupid. No, Mom. The only one who's stupid was Dad, who betrayed you for someone else. Don't worry about me, though. I'll be alright. And I swear to you, I won't ever lie to you. I won't ever leave your side. And I will never turn out like him. That makes me feel so much better. I'm sure Emma would like that as well. <laughs> Mom. What? You're gonna be her future husband after all. I'm sure she'll be delighted to know how loyal her future husband will be. I guess any girl would be. But I mean, why do you have eyes set on her? Why? Is something wrong about her? Well, it's just that she's so bossy all the time. Not to mention a spoiled brat. And all she ever talks about is her designer clothes. I can't picture myself with her. I'm not used to her lifestyle either. I'd feel so uncomfortable with her. Well, can you blame her? Have a heart, Keegan. She's still a young girl. Girls her age like to have nice things and brag about it every now and then. It'll get out of her system eventually. Don't call her a spoiled brat for it. And as far as lifestyles go, they'll only be challenging in the beginning. Things will get better in time. You have to trust the process. But mom, sometimes you gotta go with your gut. And my gut's telling me that we won't get along. Oh, sounds to me that you have someone else in mind. Don't be shy. Spill the tea. Who is it? Well, um, how do I say this? I think I like Lily. You know, the girl who lives a few blocks down. She's sweet, practical, and very well-mannered. I feel much more confident talking to her than I do with Emma. Honey, you need to understand something. Girls like Lily don't care about sweet guys like you. She's only going to use you. Once she gets what she wants, she'll leave you in a heartbeat. No, she wouldn't. She's really nice, Mom. Just meet her for one day. You'll see how lovely she really is. Keegan, that's enough. I thought of Noah like that too before I married him. And look where that got us. People who seem nice at first aren't always as nice as they seem. Don't make the same mistake I did. You deserve better. Lily won't be able to care for you the way Emma can. Emma is a smart, beautiful young girl. Plus, I heard her father is a great lawyer as well. She'll be a great emotional and financial support to us. Financial support? Do we even need that? I mean, Saul did leave you with all his professions, didn't he? You showed me his will. Everything he had belongs to you. I don't think we need anything else. True, true. But have you also thought about how nice it would be for us to have a lawyer on our side? Then we won't have to keep moving every year to stay hidden from Noah. Who knows? With a little bit of luck, we might even be able to make him pay for what he did to us. But I thought you said we shouldn't try to confront him anymore and keep our distance. Oh, it's my turn now. Thank God. Feels like I've been waiting forever. I've got to go now. We'll continue this conversation later, okay? Love you. Hey there, hubby. You know, I was thinking, how about we go for tulips on our wedding instead of the traditional roses? They're so boring anyways. I don't know. Why are you asking me this? If it were up to me, I'd plan this wedding all by myself and leave it to your awful tastes. But my father said it'd be unfair to you if I didn't let you have any say. So, do you want the tulips or roses? Or something else entirely? Do whatever you want, I don't care. Okay, someone's moody. What's eating you? 
I just had a conversation with my mom about dad and now I feel completely wasted. Uh-huh. What'd she say? That he cheated on her and started a family with another woman. Eek! That seems harsh. Hey, can I tell you something? Your mom did tell me that you were raised by your stepfather and that you guys kept moving cities to stay away from your biological father. But why didn't she change your full name? Why only your last name? If she doesn't want him to find you, she should have changed that too. What are you trying to say? Don't you think it's strange to keep the name of your biological father who knows and would remember? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask her about it when she comes back. She's not home with you? She went to get her hair done. Don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't trust your mother if I were you. That woman gives off some crazy vibes. Like, she didn't like the idea when my father suggested her that we get married, but when she found out he was a big, rich lawyer, she changed her tune. She isn't planning on getting daddy to fight a case for her for free, is she? If so, then let me just tell you to get that idea out of her head. She's gonna have to pay up, even if we're married or not. Daddy doesn't do anyone's work for free, you know. Don't worry, she wouldn't stoop that low. And as far as money goes, we'll be more than happy to pay your father for his services. With what money, lol? Didn't her boyfriend Shu die? If you're talking about Saul, he wasn't her boyfriend, he was her husband. And secondly, she inherited everything from him, so she's not as helpless as you're assuming. So, you didn't get like anything? Like, not even a penny? Weird. He should have given you something. Why would he? I'm not his blood son. He doesn't have to give me anything. But like, he treated you like his own son, didn't he? I'm just saying that it wouldn't have hurt to give some part of his wealth to you too. After all, you and your mother were pretty much the only family he ever had. A few hours later. Son, are you there? Quit calling me that. I'm not your son and I never will be. Look, I know you're mad. Please listen to me, okay? I'm not the bad guy. I didn't cheat on your mom. I swear, I don't have a secret family. What are you talking about? I know your mom probably told you that I was raising a family with someone else, but that's all a lie. That's not what happened that day. And why should I believe you? Do you know where your mother is? Of course I do, but why should I tell you? You'd probably say she's at the hairdresser, right? But what if I told you otherwise? What the hell is this? That's your mom hanging out with another guy. Now do you believe me? Oh please, this is obviously photoshopped. Please listen to me. I never wanted you out of my life. Your mother was the one to cheat on me and leave, not me. She left me at Disneyland. She told me she was gonna get you some toy you really wanted, but when I saw her later, she was kissing her college boyfriend. I tried to run after her, but she took you and ran off with him. And before you ask, her college boyfriend was Saul. I tried calling her for hours. I searched the whole house for you two, but you were never there. I asked my friends to track you guys down, but they couldn't get a trace since you guys kept moving places. Until very recently, my friend told me that you had shifted to their neighborhood. At first, I didn't want to believe them, but then he showed me the proof. It was you after all. Keegan, I'm your father. I've been searching for you for 22 years now. Please, don't listen to any more of your mother's lies. What are you even talking about? I want nothing to do with you. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Your mother's trying to get you to marry Emma, isn't she? Do you know why? It's not because of the girl. It's because of her father. He's a close friend of mine from work. I asked him to put up an offer for the marriage for a reason. And when she refused... I told him to tell her that he's a well-paid lawyer who wants to see me taken down. And so, she agreed. So what? That doesn't prove anything. Yes, it does. I was testing your mother. She refused to marry you off to Emma until she found out that they're sitting on a gold mine. Your mother wasn't loyal to me. Nor was she to Saul. And neither is she to you. The only thing she's loyal to is money. Your mother's been dating that man in the picture I sent you ever since you guys arrived in this city. When Saul was sick, it hurt him when he found out she was cheating on him. That's when he realized she cheats on people to be with richer people. That's what your mother did to me, you know. Saul was earning more than me at the time. That's not true. It, it can't be. When Saul found out, he decided to cut her off all his inheritance. So he gave everything to you. Now I know you're lying. Mom already showed me his written statements. He gave everything to Mom. That was before he found out about her cheating scandal. If you look carefully, that letter was never signed. This one, however, was. And it clearly has your name on it. The PDF file is a copy of Saul's diary. You can look at it if you don't believe me. How did you even get your hands on this diary? I have my ways. 
If by the end of all this you still don't believe me, then you can ask Emma. She's been keeping a close eye on you ever since your mother thought she was marrying you off to her. Wait, so I'm not actually marrying her? Nope. It was all just a test for your mom, which she failed. <laughs> a week later. Hey honey, I'm going to the store. Need something? Again? Mom, didn't you just go a few days ago? Don't be silly. That was just for my self-care. Remember my friend Miri? She's throwing a birthday party today, so I need to go get her a gift. So? That doesn't mean you have to go. I know that, but I've known her since we were kids. Besides, she insisted I had to come. I couldn't refuse her when she started begging me. Plus, it might help me keep myself busy. Saul's death is taking a toll on me. It was over a month ago, Mom. How can you still say you miss him, but then go blow off all that money on silly things? Silly things? Since when is getting a present for someone silly? Th that's not what I mean, and you know that. Okay, how about this? I'll go change, then I'll come with you. Oh, you don't have to. I'll be fine all on my own. Why can't I come with you? What am I supposed to do all alone in this empty house? Well, you can call Emma. I'm sure she could use some company. You know what? Just invite her over. It'll be perfect. The two of you can get to know each other a bit more. Are you serious right now? Yep, it'll be fun. Looks like my ride's here. Talk to you later. You already called for Uber? You know, I could have just driven you myself. True, but now you'll need the car to go get Emma. The next day. I'm home. Well, don't you think you have some explaining to do? Huh? Mom, it's the next day. You've been gone for 24 hours. Oh, I know. I'm sorry it took so long. Mary got a bit too excited and had a few shots. That's normal. Poor soul couldn't handle all that liquor. So, I stayed behind to help her clean up after the party. And I had to look after her too so she doesn't trip, huh? I'm so exhausted. Can you make me breakfast while I go change? You mean your mate doesn't serve you breakfast? Uh, that sucks. My what? The man you've been cheating on Saul with when he was alive? I have no idea what you're talking about. Where were you yesterday, honestly? I was at Miri's. I told you. I'm asking you to be honest, Mom. You weren't at her place. I know because I came by to check on you. But she said that you haven't visited her today. I'll ask you again. Where were you? Okay, so maybe I wasn't at her place. But, but saying I was out with someone else without proof is such a bold statement. Where did you get that from? So it's true, isn't it? You really have been seeing him. Well, c can you blame me? I was getting depressed. Do you have any idea what it's like to lose someone you love? Don't act innocent here. Both of us know you didn't start dating this man after my stepdad died. You've been doing it since he was sick. You've been cheating on him ever since we arrived here. I just don't understand. Why? Why do you keep cheating on people? What do you think? That the money's gonna fall from the sky? How else was I supposed to take care of you and myself and survive? I did what I had to for you. No. No, you only do what you want to. You never loved dad, nor did you love Saul either. He was sick, and in his last days, all he got to see was you cheating on him. Not to mention all the times you lied to me. Did you ever go to all those hair treatments like you mentioned? Or were you out with this other guy? He's not another guy, Keegan. He can change our lives. Is money literally the only thing you see in people? Ugh, I don't need a lecture from you. You're my son, not my boss, you brat. I should have just given you back to Noah, or put you up for adoption. You've been a liability since the start. To think I had to put up with all your crap until this day. Then why'd you take me from my actual dad in the first place? Why'd you run off with Saul? Because Noah doesn't deserve happiness. I thought I'd just take you away from him to make him suffer. I wouldn't have minded to leave you alone on the streets or something. But somehow, Saul got attached to you. He kept insisting to keep you since he always wanted a son. When does that ever stop you from doing what you want? Since when did you start listening to people? Hey, I didn't want to keep you. But if I didn't, he said I won't have an heir to take over his business when he's gone. So I decided to keep you instead. Knowing my son would grow up to be a successful businessman was the only good I had to look forward to. Otherwise, you didn't mean much to me. Seriously? You'd even value money over your children? Well, I never wanted children to begin with. They're always so needy, always wanting attention. Plus, they're expensive. Wow, I, I can't believe you just said that. Does that mean you don't want anything to do with me now? No, I still need you to marry that Emma girl. I need to make good relations with her father to put Noah in his place. That man has been trying to track us down like some sort of prey. A restraining order against him plus a couple charges would be nice. <laughs> I'd be able to buy a few Gucci bags with that money. I knew it. You're still using me for my money, aren't you? Your money? You don't have any money. What about the money Saul left me? That's not for you. <laughs> You're not even his real son. 
Why would he give you anything? I know the truth, Mom. You haven't been honest to me at all. Not even my stepdad's will. He gave me all his inheritance, not you. You lied to me before, but I know the truth now. Huh? What are you talking about? I showed you his will, didn't I? Nope. You showed me a fake. I know that because I got in contact with my real dad. He already told me everything. I didn't want to believe him at first, but I guess he was telling the truth. Maybe I should just start doing what he said after all. And what's that? I'm leaving you, Mom. I'm gonna go live with him. And I won't be marrying Emma. I'll marry Lily. What? No, you can't leave me. I raised you. You didn't raise me. Saul did. You were always busy at salons and whatnot. Next to you, I'd rather be with Dad, who's been honest with me since we talked. You can't even be honest with me for a second. No, I won't let you leave. What am I going to do without you? You mean without the money Dad left me? I don't know. Guess you're going to have to look for a job. Oh, and by the way, I will be pressing charges against you for falsifying Saul's will and lying to me. And for a cheating scandal too. I've already been in contact with a lawyer, so you should find one too, I guess. Ha! Ah, joke's on you, I already have one. Emma's father is such a gentleman to me. I'm sure he wouldn't mind helping me. <laughs> he's not gonna help you, since he's the one fighting for my case. What? See ya, and I hope you get what you deserve. Hey, don't make me come upstairs to your room, or else... Go ahead. My stuff isn't even there. I'm already on my way to dad. Keegan, wait, honey, come back, please. Keegan did as he said he would. He cut off all ties from his mother and married Lily. The two are living comfortably in Noah's home. Keegan also decided to sell Saul's old house and bought a lovely condo. The newlyweds visit Noah quite frequently. As for the mother, she was kicked out of the house when Keegan sold it. He won the case against her too. Not only does she have a hefty amount to pay up, but her affair partner refused to help her with their dues and immediately stopped seeing her. Now she's at bars looking for people she can rip money out of to make ends meet. The end. Thanks for watching.